you're a fan of using LUTs or lookup tables for color grading when photo editing your images, but you struggle with knowing which one to pick because there's no preview, I have just the solution for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a proof sheet of your LUTs. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and I teach beginner and intermediate photographers how to improve their photography right from capturing camera all the way through to the end of the editing process. So if you're ready to get started, let's dig in. The first thing you need to do in order to make a contact sheet or preview sheet of your LUTs is to make the images to build it. I'm going to use Luminar Neo to demonstrate, but if you use a different photo editing program, just follow along similar steps there. Once you're inside your editing program, just go to the place where you add the LUTs. In Neo, that's under the Mood tool. Then you just need to choose a LUT or load custom one, whatever your software requires, and navigate to the folder where your collection of LUTs lives. As you can see, I have several different collections that I've acquired from different places. The ones I'm going to use today to demonstrate are called Land of Freedom LUTs. They were produced by the team at Skylam as a special promotion to help the people of Ukraine. Once you have the folder of LUTs that you want to use, I suggest categorizing them this way so you don't have so many. Make them a little bit smaller so you can just do one per page. Then just choose the first one and apply it. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the opacity or the amount of the effect is at 100%. That will make the preview easier to see the effect of this particular LUT. If I do a preview of before and after, you can see what this one is doing. After the LUT is applied, then you just have to save or export the file. Create or navigate to a folder where you want to save them. So I've created one called Land of Freedom LUTs, and I'm going to save the images as 2000 pixels on the long side. It's probably slightly overkill for making a contact sheet, but then I have them for later use if I want them larger anyways. The final step is to name your new JPEG. Make sure that you call it the name of the LUT that you just used. For reference, look back over here in Luminar Neo and make sure you name it the same. Then just click save and put it in that folder. Then following the same steps, load the next one. Make sure your amount is up high check it, then just export it again to the same folder, but make sure to change the name. Repeat this process for all the LUTs in your collection. Once you have them all, then we can proceed to the next step. If you want to know more about how to use Luminar Neo for all your photo editing needs or as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop, check out my new class called Luminar Neo The Complete Course. You'll learn how to use Luminar Neo step by step as I go through each tool one after the other. You'll also learn how to put together a good workflow, backing up your images, and I'll show you how to do a full edit from start to finish on different kinds of photos. There are many different ways to make a proof sheet or a contact sheet or it might be called a collage. I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Bridge. So if you have an Adobe subscription, or an older version of Photoshop that comes with Bridge, you could follow this method. Or if you have Lightroom, use the print module. There are several presets there for making contact sheets as well. If you don't have any Adobe products, not to worry, I'll show you an alternate method as well using some free online tools. You'll notice that I've gone ahead and used two different images to make previews of the LUTs. It's a little more work, but it gives you a better overall view of what the LUT's doing on different kinds of images. So you can choose to do one set or two. Once you are in Bridge and you're viewing the images that you created, just click Output in the top tab, and over here you'll see some options. I've chosen Custom. You can start with a 4x5 contact sheet or a 5x8 based on how many images you have to preview. So I did that. And then you can just customize it in terms of the size you want to print on. I've chosen regular US letter size, the resolution, and I've also chosen to include the file name as text. This is really important because this is what's going to tell you on your proof sheet which LUT you're viewing. 
Then you can set up how many rows and columns you want to use. I set up four columns and five rows because I have 20 images. Let me make the thumbnails at the bottom a little bigger. So I'm just going to select all the thumbnails using Command or Control A. And then to add them to the contact sheet is super easy. You just click and hold on one of them, drag up to the canvas, and drop. See how easy that was? Then you could set the spacing between the cells, the margins, and so on. So I've set it to maximize the thumbnails as large as possible. I also added a header and a footer, so I've got the name of the LUTs and who makes it, just for my own reference later. Notice the file name here is appearing below each of the thumbnails. So that's the important part. So if you like this effect and you like this look, you know which LUT to apply. Once you're done, just export it to PDF and give it the name of your LUT. If you're not using Adobe products or you don't have Bridge, I've got a few different online options for you to check out. PicMonkey is a great one. It's free for certain things. If you want more advanced features, you do have to pay for their pro version. But I found an easy way to make a collage like this. The only drawback is there's no text below the image, so you kind of have to put them in the right order when you add them. To create it, you just need to choose collage, pick the layout. I chose one that had 12 because it was close to the number that I was previewing, which is 10, and then add your photos. There's a handy autofill here. I'll remove all the image so you can see how that works. So I've added the 10 preview images and I'm just going to click autofill. And it's that quick. But like I said, the drawback is it's tricky to know which one you're using. So what I recommend if you want to use PicMonkey is make sure that when you upload them, they are in order or sorted in a certain way, alphabetical perhaps. And then when you add them to the contact sheet, you know that they're in the same order that they appear in the folder of LUTs. Similarly, you can do something like that in Canva as well. But once again, there are pros and cons of using this method. I couldn't find a collage maker that allowed me to customize it without paying for Canva Pro. So you kind of have to build it yourself. But it's not that hard. So in this case, when I added them, they went in reverse order from the bottom to the top. So that's the order I'm going to add them in. And then you just have to resize. There's nice snap to grids so you can see when they're the same size. And then you can space them and center them on the page. Then just add the rest and line them up. So it's a bit of work the first time you do it, but then you can save it and just continue adding pages for each of your additional collections. The benefit here is that you can click on the thumbnail and see the file name. So then you can make sure that your LUTs are in the correct order alphabetically. And finally, another one that I played around with and was able to make this contact sheet fairly quickly was one called BeFunky.com in their collage section. It was pretty easy to use. I just chose a layout, chose the grid. There are several different grids available, but if you choose any with a green dot, they require you to pay for their premium service. But I managed to make this first one work for me. You'll notice that it has squares and how I changed it was I just customized it by changing the size. I just made it wider. Adjust the spacing between them and there's your contact sheet. If you have more than nine in your light collection, you just need to make multiple pages and remember to always add them and keep them in alphabetical order. Watch this video now if you want to learn more about how to use Luminar Neo. Or join me every week for my live stream here on my YouTube channel where I demonstrate photo editing using subscriber submitted images. I'd love to see you there.